Let's see, it says here that I'm going to draw the point. X. Hmm. Five. Hmm. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, I'm taking a course in visual thinking. It teaches you how to visualize your thoughts. Watch. Q. See that? Man, you're just a beginner. I'm an old hand at this stuff. Watch. Hey, a real watch. With moving parts, no less. So there's so much complexity and so much richness to the data, uh, we need better ways to be able to make sense out of it. One of the best ways is to create a visual depiction, uh, some type of visualization of the data so that we can see the patterns and we can see the relationships. There's a practice called visual recording where an individual listens carefully to the sequence of, of ideas in meetings and in conferences and graphically illustrates those ideas, usually on wall, large wall charts. They're incredibly valuable to be able to make sense out of complex information. The reason they work is because we don't just visualize them, we don't just see them, but we spatialize them. When we have a lo certain locations that we track over space, the brain, believe it or not, actually remembers better. So for example, if I asked you to draw a picture of a 10 euro bill, go ahead and draw a picture of a 10 euro bill. Most of us can't do this um, accurately, but if I asked you to mentally go to your kitchen and find where the salt is, or the pepper, or the little spoons, or the pots and pans, I can ask you 200 questions and you'll know exactly where all of these items are. So um, I'm, I think what we're going to see in coming years, not just from our own organization, but from others, is uh, ways to track this big data in, in remarkably surprising ways to help individuals and corporations get the solve tough problems and, and get their work done.